Hello again. Just a quick follow-up video. Um, so if you saw my previous one where I talked about the uh, base and interface of supports, I uh, just wanted to share uh, uh, a little bit information. Um, I found that when I used the previous uh, slicing, where I had I tried to avoid the printing uh, which supports what you can see here so I had it basically set on the edge here to print supports there and I had this one placed on its back so it could just print close um, the problem with that was that the print would take 18 to 17 hours and um, before I talked a little bit about bottom interface and top interface and I realized what if I sort of avoid using any kind of uh, now? What if I minimize the, the the height of the supports, and instead I just use two layers of bottom and top support? And what you then get is this kind of support here, where it will actually use it prints everything flat instead, which is actually better for the overall print because it makes it much faster as you can see here five hours instead of 17 and as you can see the the use of um, um, support is a lot less and what i found was that the breakaway support i'm using from bamboo is so slippery that it, it breaks clean off the normal pla which means that I could basically use two layers here and two layers here and just remove it. So um, my theory is that when this one finished printing, instead of having to do a lot of grinding with sandpaper, I can just basically break off the supports here because it's, it's, it's support PLA at the bottom and support PLA at the top. And there is no no, no worries about that sort of being an issue over big distances and you can also see that I put uh, ra two, la two raft layers to basically have the support at the bottom here and there will be a bit extra on this one but once it gets uh, above this piece here it will basically not use supports at all and just print almost all the way to until it comes to here you support and here so th the overall uh, print should go a lot easier than it would normally do so if you just try and show it in steps because there's a lot less th the support will basically be really flat just like the PLA and when you then get the first layer of the PLA it will be perfectly flat as well and because it breaks away so easily there shouldn't really be a problem with the, the support PLA so it comes up here I'm printing it kind of solid so if you look at this section here Like here, you will see that the support PLA will basically support every layer pretty well until you come up to here, even inside. You see here. When it comes to the places here. You see here now, this is how the support would print. And uh, so one layer, two layer, and then it will do the first layer of the outside. And then the second layer. So you see, hopefully this should actually not be a big of a problem once I basically print it like this. And then you have the long one here the side which 
which actually only needs support on the end. Again, that should break away clean because this uh, support PLA is kind of slippery in a way. So fingers crossed for five hours print instead of 17 with the use of uh, top and bottom interfacing. And uh, I tried to set this to just be support, but then you get change of filament on every single layer all the way. So the, the big benefit of not using more than only for the interface is that you basically don't need to change um, for every layer until the top here. So if you had changed to like uh, support PLA for the first one and you slice it, <coughs> you will see that you would have to change because here is PLA and here is PLA on the same level. It would have to change for every single layer. It would have to change twice. That's why it's much better to just use normal PLA to print. And then when you slice it for all the sections where you only use normal PLA, you will basically print in PLA, same PLA. So, a lot less filament used as well. The previous one was 300 grams of total filament used. This is 189, so that was just a small follow-up video.